Hello, everybody. welcome, sir. Yeah, welcome, sir. Welcome to our show, OSA. Thank you very much for joining with us. Uh, dear viewers, we have uh, three learned academic experts with us. Uh, one is the legendary Elizabeth Surgeon uh, from uh, Russia, our honorable Professor, Professor Novikov, sir, and he is with uh, Dr. Uh, Anatoly, sir, here. So welcome, welcome to our show, Novikov, sir. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. And I want to introduce uh, Dr. Sudnitsin. He is uh, head of uh, very heavy department infection department of the food and uh, today uh, he will share us uh, his experience thank you very much sir it's a great day for us uh, uh, just a minute sir i would like to introduce our other academic expert with us uh, dear viewers we have a professor mofakarul barisar the pioneer elizabeth surgeon in bangladesh i would like to request professor mofakarul barisar to join with us okay thank you tanvir uh, thank you Welcome, very much sir. Welcome, sir. Dear viewers, we have uh, Dr. Omar Sir from Iraq. I would like to request Dr. Omar Sir to join with us. So, good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Uh, dear viewers, we have another learned academic expert from uh, Patna, India, and uh, that is from Patna, India. He is uh, Dr. Shamsul Huda Sir. I would like to request uh, Dr. Shamsul Huda Sir to join with us along with orthotopy. I hope uh, he will join with us in the coming part of our program. Uh, now, dear viewers, I would like to request our honorable speaker, uh, Dr. Anatoly Sir, to start his presentation. And our topic is foot and ankle joint osteomyelitis treated by Elizardo. Dr. Anatoly Sir, would you please share your screen with us? Dear colleagues, uh, today I will show a uh, topic topics about uh, some possibilities of Elizarov method in uh, food and ankle uh, joint surgery. So, uh, as we know, uh, osteomyelitis of the foot and ankle, it is very difficult pathology for treatment. Here, uh, in that pathology, uh, we uh, can uh, we can find different etiological types of the infection first uh, most biggest part of the uh, types uh, etiological type it is uh, post traumatic osteomyelitis uh, second uh, neurogenic uh, and next uh, not uh, not uh, not not often but uh, uh, but so biggest part of the uh, food and dental stimulators is a it is a charcoal food and uh, others I, here is we can find mycosis of stimulators and different different so uh, what about etiology i uh, i told before that uh, post traumatic stimulators in our practice it's very biggest part of the uh, etiological uh, etiology of stimulators. Uh, neurogenic and uh, charcoal food. It is uh, we 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 see in our practice not often. But what uh, local typical local view of that patients? It is a uh, foot and uh, foot deformity complicated with ulceration, with um, uh, fistulas, uh, with inflammation. And uh, one important uh, that uh, uh, point of the, of the localization of the ulceration or fistulas, uh, very often it is a, a plantar surface of the foot. Sometimes uh, it is uh, point of the high, high point of the deformity of food. Uh, what about typical X-rays? X-ray picture in that uh, case, in, in that patients in that pathology. 
uh, here is uh, very often we can we can find uh, f deformity of bones, uh, bone uh, bones destruction, uh, uh, ankylosis of joints, and uh, arthrosis of joints. So. Uh, what about uh, uh, culture of microbes? Very often we, in our practice, we see that most often we find uh, st uh, microbes, uh, Staphylococcus. And uh, second, secondary, we find Pseudomonas and Enterobacterica. Uh, uh, here is in that slide, uh, you can find uh, types of the microbes like a gram positive, gram negative in different etiological uh, groups of the, of the infection. And for example, in post-traumatic groups, uh, very often we find gram positive infection. And uh, what about charcoal food? Here is we very often find uh, microbes associations or a gram negative infection. So, uh, what is the aims of treatment uh, of that patients? First, firstly, it is of course suppression of infection process, and secondary, it is a recovery function on limb. But uh, here is we should understand uh, that. Uh, that aims should be uh, should be parallel in treatment for success of treatment of that patients. So uh, in our uh, department, we used uh, that treatment protocol. You can find it in in slide. So firstly, it is a preoperative period where. We do blood tests, culture tests, bone biopsy, MRI, CT scan, X-ray tests, and uh, what uh, and uh, and uh, everything what uh, we find in uh, uh, in preoperative period, it uh, we used uh, in in the creation of our treatment strategy. In the in second stage, it is a revision, a revision stage where we do debridement, plastic of wound if it is needed, uh, and primary osteosynthesis with uh, etiotropic antibi antibiotic therapy. For antibiotic therapy, we do uh, usually for 20 or 25 days in, in the revision stage and uh, Next stage is the reconstruction stage, where we do uh, orthopedic recovery of limb, uh, <laughs> when we do active synthesis for uh, deformity correction, for healing bone defect, and everything uh, for uh, everything of, of the of, for uh, for that patients with uh, orthopedic uh, surgery. So and uh, for prevention of recovery of infection. Uh, in that stage, we used antibiotic, antiotropic antibiotic therapy for 10 or 15 days. So, and last one stage, it is a fixation stage where patient can uh, do functional load on limb. And uh, that stage will finish in time when we do uh, removal of the external Elizarov device. So, uh, some uh, nuances for debrid debridement uh, in, the in, the in the revision stage. Uh, usually, uh, very often we used uh, for uh, ultrasound debridement of the wound for, um, for, uh, for removal of all uh, necrotic uh, tissues uh, mm -hmm. a resection of the cords and scars in the wound and after after that proce procedures we uh, open uh, open the bone and do resection of the necrotic bone or sclerotic uh, sclerotic parts of bone and uh, we do resection of osteophytes uh, which we find 
on planter surface of that bone. So, and, and the secondary, we do primary osteosynthesis with creation of functional deformity of foot uh, for stitching wound or uh, creation of uh, uh, reloading for, uh, post uh, reloading of the uh, wound yeah so uh, what about uh, uh, resection of the uh, osteophytes here you find on my slide uh, in in left uh, x-rays uh, osteophytes and in sec in the right uh, x-rays uh, bonds uh, after resection. So as you can see, uh, no one osteophytes can can uh, which one uh, which can provide uh, recovery of the uh, ulceration on plantar surface. So and uh, what's provide uh, what what is provide Elizarov method uh, for treatment of the foot and ankle joint. First, it is a correction of deformity, healing bone defects, foot lengthening, arthrodesis of joints, creation of new arthrosis, stretchion of skin for stitching wound or foot or soft tissue defect, and the creation or correction of foot deformity for stitching wound, and protection of the transported skin flap if we do microsurgical uh in, intervention so and the uh, correction of the deformities here is uh, patients with neurogenic disorders of lower limbs uh, after uh, spinal trauma and uh, as you can uh, see uh, right foot uh, have equina cavavarus deformity and in a high on a high high points of the deformity, uh, patient had uh, ulceration. X review, uh, if we see, X, if we can see X review, uh, we find that uh, uh, defect of the fifth metatarsal uh, bone and uh, necrotic prison. Uh, and necros necrosis of the cuboid and bone, bone. And our treatment was uh, co consist for, uh, with uh, two, two stages, as I showed before. So firstly, we do debride, we, we was, was made debridement with uh, ultrasound debridement of the wound and uh, primary osteosynthesis with uh, gradually correction of the deformity in postoperative period. So after the correction of the deformity in postoperative period after the first uh, stage, we uh, uh, made the next uh, intervention, next surgery, uh, was done arthrodesis uh, of the triple arthrodesis uh, for stabilization of foot and for prevention uh, of the recovery of foot deformity and recovery ulceration on uh, plantar surface on high high point of the deformity um, and uh, totally uh, fixation after uh, after arthrodesis in Elizarov uh, fixator was uh, was two and a half months and after uh, after removal of device. Follow up, uh, we had more than one year. And as you can uh, see, in, uh, we patient don't have uh, uh, food uh, recovery of the deformity and the recovery of the ulceration uh, on uh, his uh, feet, uh, on his foot. So another one uh, possibility of the uh, Elizarov method for uh, treatment of the hind foot uh, osteomyelitis it is uh, when we have when we have uh, total bone defect uh, total bone defect in the hind foot uh, it is a, a method 
uh, we called uh, uh, calcanization. Uh, in your time uh, in international orthop orthopedic, you, uh, we, pub we have published our, uh, uh, our um, article about that uh, technique. So, but uh, totally the technique consists uh, from uh, two, uh, two stages, like in previous, uh, like I told you before. So, first stage when we do uh, debridement with uh, uh, resection of necro necrotic bones, when we, uh, uh, when we, after that uh, uh, surgery, we had uh, total bone defects of the hind foot. And uh, for healing that bone defect, uh, in second stage, in re reconstruction stage, we do uh, uh, two osteotomies uh, in, with, in different uh, surgical intervention. First osteotomy, it is osteotomy in proximal part of uh, tibia for uh, moving distal bone fragment uh, in hind foot position in, high, in, in uh, bone defect. And uh, after creation uh, enough uh, for creation hind foot bones um, in uh, after enough uh, bone tissues in hind foot uh, in hind foot, uh, we, we do osteotomy in distal side of tibia of the uh, distal uh, bone, uh, tibial bone fragment for creation like a foot arch uh, in hind foot and creation good condition uh, for um, stabilization of the uh, middle foot and uh, high, uh, new hind foot bones for uh, uh, for uh, healing um, and fusion uh, in that uh, position bonds. So another one technique, another one possibilities. Uh, I, I, I think it is very useful in the world. Uh, uh, it is uh, arth uh, arthrodesis of the NQ joint. Uh, here is uh, uh, every, every simple. And uh, we, we can do arthrodesis uh, without bone defect and with, with bone defect, like in uh, the X-rays. Um, uh, <clears throat> when we have uh, total bone, uh, total uh, talus bone defect, uh, we can heal the defect by osteotomy of the tibia and uh, gradual transport uh, of that uh, bone of the tibia in uh, um, talus bone defects for uh, creation of fusion. So another one uh, technique, it is foot lengthening when we, uh, when we can uh, lens uh, some um, single uh, bones like, uh, like in that uh, case uh, when we lens uh, when we do lengthening uh, some fingers, uh, sh short fingers, and uh, totally we can do lengthening uh, to all foot, like in, in middle side and mid uh, in mid foot position. So, and uh, another one uh, very interesting for us technique it is a creation of new arthrosis. Especially uh, that technique we used uh, in uh, young uh, patients when patients want uh, to save uh, function of the joint or uh, fun function or flexion, dorsal or plantar flexion in his foot. So in same uh, cases, usually after resection of necrotic bone, we create like a new hinge, like a new arthrosis in the uh, ankle joint position. And uh, one, uh, one important uh, that 
here we don't create uh, compression in um, uh, in bone contact of of the NK joint, and uh, we we save uh, free space like a one uh, centimeter in uh, like a we, we create like a bone defect in um, uh, NK joint like a one centimeter and total fixation in that cases uh, in a reserve uh, frame uh, usually is not more uh, one and a half months and after uh, after removal of the external fixation fixator we uh, recommend to patient to the patient um, uh, working with uh, uh, physio, physio, uh, physiotherapist for uh, for uh, uh, safe saving dorsal and plantar flexion and uh, in uh, downs uh, down x-rays uh, you can find functional um, uh, x-rays when patient uh, had uh, near when near uh, with two uh, uh, near with 10 uh, degrees, uh, degrees of movies uh, in, in his foot. So another one uh, technique, it is the stretching of the sk of skin uh, for uh, creation enough uh, for healing uh, bone def uh, healing ulceration for creation enough soft tissue for covering that uh, skin flap for creation of the skin flap and transport the skin flap uh, on the ulcer on the plantar surface so uh, another technique it is a creation or correction for deformity for a uh, stitching wound uh, here is uh, uh, as we uh, in in the left uh, picture, you can see a uh, uh, wound on the plantar surface, and uh, for st uh, stitching that wound, we are made uh, an osteotomy of the calcaneum bone and uh, turn uh, that calcaneum bone for on uh, for coverage of that. Uh, uh, soft tissue defect of that wound and our after and after stitching wound in post-operative period uh, after seven days post uh, in post-operative uh, we uh, made a gradually correction in normal position of the uh, calcaneum bone and uh, uh, after that uh, Fixation, total fixation in frame in a Lizarro fixator uh, was uh, two and a half months. And uh, after treatment, uh, patient uh, don't uh, have, uh, don't have uh, recovery of the uh, wound on a plantar surface of his foot. Another one, uh, Creation or correct or correction foot deformity for stitching wound uh, when we when in cases when uh, wound is located on the hind foot uh, on the hind foot so here is for stitching wound we uh, fixed uh, foot in external fixation uh, fixator in equinus position and in the, in that position. Uh, we can stitch uh, foot and create um, good condition for uh, normal healing of that uh, wound. And after healing wound, uh, usually it uh, can be after tw uh, 20, uh, 20 or 25 days after surgery, uh, we can do a gradually correction of uh, the deformity in normal and uh, gradually uh, uh, correction in the normal position of the foot. So, and 
last one uh, possibility it is a protection of the uh, transported skin flap like in that case when we uh, for uh, for healing for uh, cover, coverage of the um, wound on the hind foot uh, uh, on the hind foot we had made a we have made a trans transport of the um, skin flap and for protection that skin slab flap for uh, good healing uh, of that flap we are uh, we are made osteosynthesis by Elizara frame so and uh, totally adventures uh, of the Elizara method it is a extra focal stable fixation of the segment control of the bone fragments gradually correction of the bone fragments improvement of the blood in supply as in a segment elimination of the infection process and prevention prevention uh, recurrence of infection and the uh, deformities of the feet so thank you for attention thank you very much sir uh, for your excellent presentation uh, now i would like to request uh, professor mofakarul bari sir uh, to say something regarding the uh, presentation of dr anatoly sir professor mofakarul bari sir uh, thank you very much anatoly sudnet sir good topic you thank have you. shown almost uh, the how to correct the me control the infection it is our is a fantastic tool by which we can we can control everything simultaneously we can correct the deformity we can control the infection and as well as we can get the healing process and uh, my uh, one observation and one question anatoly hello my one question when you are doing you are, when you are correcting the deformity in the ankle and foot uh, you are doing osteotomy in the calcaneum or you are doing v osteotomy or u osteotomy or transverse osteotomy in the calcaneum which one you uh, love to do uh, in better way when your foot is totally equinus you know more than uh, 60 65 uh, what kind of osteotomy you love to do for correcting the uh, 65 or 70 degree equinus foot professor barry um, uh, here is very difficult and interesting uh, question because uh, we should understand uh, which kind of uh, deformity uh in uh, each one each uh, as in each one case uh, we have so uh sometimes when a patient uh, uh, have uh, a flexible deformity uh and uh, when x-ray picture uh, is showing that no one uh, joins in uh, every uh, that uh, when X-ray uh, picture will show it for us. Then uh, every joint is uh, normal. I mean, uh, without ankylosis. Here is in same cases. Uh, usually we do a first in first stage gradually correction with soft tissue release in Elizarov, and in second stage we do uh, triple arthrodesis. In uh, I mean. Uh, equina cavavarus uh, cases and uh, in in other cases uh, we do stabilization of the different uh, different joints so uh, but usually but very often uh, we know that uh, very uh, often cases it is equina cavavarus food and in here is we do triple artery disease uh, of course if uh, we if we have 
uh, normal joints uh, of the foot, x-ray picture with normal joints. So if we have um, ankylosis of uh, joints and um, and uh, uh, here is we uh, try to understand uh, which is uh, type of um, osteotomy much more better for uh, each one cases. Uh, sometimes uh, we used, uh, very often, we used V-shape osteotomy, as you told, and uh, after that osteotomy, we do gradually correction. So, but sometimes uh, we used uh, T1 osteotomy, as you know, uh, when we do yeah. full osteotomy yeah. of the middle, uh, midfoot, and uh, osteotomy uh, in position of the... Um, and, uh, of the subtalar joint. So, yes. and after that, yes. uh, like in previous case, uh, gradual correction in external fixator. So, yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Thank you. Uh, Thank rightly, you. rightly, you have mentioned all the methods, how we can correct the uh, equinus, equinocavus, and the deformity. And of course, the Lizarro is a fantastic tool by which we can correct all kind of deformities, infection. And this is a very good technique by Elizarf because here you don't use any pins. You're using all the wires. And these, these wires is giving flexibility around the ankle and the whole foot. That is the beauty of Elizarf technique and Elizarf Kurgan pattern technique. Okay, thank you very much. Anatoly Sudhinsit. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, now, I'd like to say, uh, Professor Novikov, sir, to say something regarding the presentation, sir. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, I am very expressed today because uh, in our center, we have uh, 21 departments and uh, three departments is special, infection department. And from this clinic, a special department, department for food. Only patient with uh, infection problem foot uh, can take treatment in this department. And uh, now excellent examples, perfect examples, how with Elixarov external fixator, we start way from difficult problem to the normal life. Our opponents everywhere in the world say Elizarov uh, methods is uh, very risky because infections problem will come. This is uh, doctor start support from Elizarov methods, from Elizarov effect. And uh, now uh, we start a uh, few topics when uh, on the, this area with Elizarov effect, we can go away from uh, difficulties, from infections, and how inside of our bone, external fixator start create excellent power for recovery. And today, uh, I cannot say this is Jan Dachte. This is uh, chief, chief of the big department and very difficult department. And uh, I think uh, once more, we together can see perfect result. And thanks uh, a lot for together. Thanks, uh, say thanks for Elizarov message. I am very happy today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nibis. sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Now, I would like to request uh, Dr. Shamsuluda, sir. I think he's busy in the OT. Uh, though he's busy in the OT, uh, I would like to say uh, Dr. Samsudha said to uh, share his experience regarding the presentation, sir. Please. Uh, yeah, thank you, Dr. Tanvir. My voice is audible? Yeah, yeah, absolutely audible. Yeah. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yes, clearly sir. audible. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so it's very yeah, thank you. It's great to see such a wonderful cases of uh, whether say, deformities and infections in ankle with very good methodologies, especially including the soft tissue also. I have just one question, doctor, that uh, in midfoot osteotomies, do you uh, use the mini open uh, saw or you use the giggly saw? 
usually I used only chisel because uh, when we used uh, jiggly saw or uh, uh, vibration saw, it is very traumatic for soft tissue. Right. And sometimes Maybe. we can uh, do trauma or injury of the nervous or uh, vascular uh, trauma injury. And for me, uh, and one important that uh, sometimes uh, 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 jiggly saw maybe not uh, often we can find it, but in uh, vibration saw uh, can give to us um, um, uh, iron of the bones, and it is uh, it is can be uh, create as not good condition for. Uh, um, for growing of the bone regenerate and for me in our and in our practice and in practice of our departments uh, it is the using of the chisel sharp very sharp chisels when we can accu uh, do accurate osteotomy uh, slowly and accurate yeah, and after that you after that method we can grow much more better regenerate of the bones and uh, we can start um, uh, correction of the deformity on the fifth or seventh uh, days after surgery yeah yeah thank you yes. thanks a lot yeah. we are all agree with that uh, another question is what is your uh, uh, bracing technique post removal of the elizero the bliss the bracing protocol post uh, rig removal Sorry, please what is your repeat. bracing protocol post ring removal for the foot deformities? Your uh, the your bracing protocol post ring removal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Can you hear me? Uh, typical, yeah, yeah. Here, so uh, typical uh, protocol for removal. Usually, uh, we. Uh, in, if uh, in different cases, we should understand here is uh, in, that in different cases, uh, different times uh, for fixation in a Lizarra frame. For example, if we have uh, charcoal uh, foot, of course, here is uh, protocol for fixation of the, uh, fo uh, of the in a Lizarra frame can be a very long time, and uh, we don't can tell. Uh, grow, uh, take of the uh, half of the uh, fusion or not have fusion of the bones uh, in these cases. Uh, but if we told, talking about post traumatic cases, here is in, uh, in our experience enough uh, two or two and a half months of fixation. And uh, if we're talking about neurogenic stimulitis, usually time of fixation uh, in a Lizarra frame and typical protocol for us, it is two and a half, three months, because here we should understand that uh, patients have, uh, had, have a neurogenic disorders and because it, here is uh, a healing of the bone, is not too fast like in a normal condition in post-traumatic cases. So... Typically, like like that. Good. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, that was a great discussion, sir. I have uh, one question. You have uh, shown us uh, implants, that is, uh, sub skin implants. Uh, wh what is the uh, users of uh, that implants? Uh, here is our experiment. Uh, our experimental uh, devices. Uh, and that sub skin implants we uh, create uh, for uh, um, uh, imp imp uh, sub skin implantation and gradually uh, gradually stretching of the skin in each point where where we implant that skin implants and uh, that uh, uh, direction that traction we are do by ice control, ice control. Uh, in uh, uh, procedure uh, in procedure room, in room. And uh, how we do it? So, 
each one, uh, each one's uh, subskin implant, we attracted for, but we st we st uh, we stop it when we saw that micro uh, vascular answer of the tissues is uh, is stopped. Another another say the when we saw uh, white skin white skin not the, like uh, uh, pink skin uh, typically in the foot when we saw uh, white skin we are stopped uh, and uh, give to that patient a little bit uh, relax relaxation uh, on each one sub skin implant. And totally, we are do traction in each one, uh, uh, each one uh, subskin implant with different uh, with different lengths. For example, uh, if we have uh, three subskin implants, in that subskin implants we can do traction like uh, three centimeters in a day. In the second one. Uh, two and a half centimeters in, in a day and another one uh, because uh, so, um, uh, skin, uh, microvascular answer of the skin is not good. Here's what we d uh, didn't give uh, tra traction, no one millimeters. So, and uh, very interesting and uh, difficult technique and uh, uh, last time we used uh, not very often in our experience, but sometimes when we cannot do uh, transport of the skin flap, when we can, uh, when uh, we cannot do some uh, another one stitching of the types of the stitching of the wound, we use the same technique. Oh, that's great! That's good! That's very innovative, and uh, we hope. Uh, uh, we can have another uh, presentation on this type of innovative implants uh, and uh, that will be very helpful for us. Uh, I would like to thank our honorable speaker and our learned academic expert for being with us. And dear viewers, I would like to thank Raj TV for helping us uh, to arrange this type of academic program and definitely uh, Renato Pharmaceuticals Bangladesh Limited for sponsoring our program. And I'm Dr. Mohit Tanvir Ashraf uh, saying bye-bye for today. I uh, hope we'll connect with you in the coming Friday with another magical Elizabeth topic. Till then, I'd like to say bye-bye to all of you. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. You are watching Raj TV. Jagorone, Bangladesh. Please subscribe.